Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's get into it Aquarius. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's going on. I don't know. Y'all have somebody here who wants to reach out, then they don't, then they want to reach out, then they don't. I don't know. It's like they're trying to read where you are. And also they're trying to, trying to process the feelings that they have for you. They've never felt this way about anybody else. It's, it's really strong. And this person knows that you are into spirituality, maybe even um, some level of witchcraft. They kind of feel like... You're manipulating the energy. Um, they feel like you are, uh, you're making them feel this way uh, about you or towards you. It's like you're trying to pull them to you. So this is how some of these people feel. And then you also could be working with somebody or you have somebody in your energy that is doing like some type of craft or witchery just to bring you back. There's also an energy of just pride. Somebody being real proud just like they just can't reach out to you it's like they want to break you this is a real you know like this person's got a real big ego for them to reach out to you first or for them to even you know make the attempt of okay for them to reach out to you they feel like what it says to you is that um they're conceding you know or um, they're throwing in the in the white flag. They're throwing in the towel. They're giving up. Like you have power over them or something like that. It's a real immature, ego-based, egotistical, proud somebody here that just, you know, they have all of these feelings for you, but they're willing to forego their happiness with you or willing to forego just leveling with you um yeah they're willing to forgo the relationship like they're willing to just throw it in like it, it it doesn't matter it's like they're saying it doesn't matter you know like it's a you know whatever it'll pass but what they don't know is that this, this how they feel about you is always going to be there with them in the you know yep this person is okay so how they feel about you is always going to be there. They're not going to be able to run from this because this is spirit. This is universe. This is, you know, God, whatever you believe in, kind of prompt them, try to prompt them to mature, level up, um, come back, recover the relationship in the five of cups. You're already sad about it. And there's a level of, you know, they can't cope with the fact that it is over. And then with the ten of swords, they're being like overly dramatic. They want to be the victim here. Someone also can't fathom the fact that you don't want them or that you're done with them or that you're making some real significant changes in your life. There's also somebody who can't get over maybe the mother of their child or children. They just, they cannot cope with the fact that you might just move on and be happy somewhere else, but they're also not making any move. Yeah. All they do is think about the past with the six of cups and the four of swords. It's like they dream about you. They think about you. They want to heal from this, but they, but it's almost as if they can't. It's like they are kind to trying to separate themselves from their emotions. They don't want to think about it, but again, all they can do is think about it. This person is extremely emotionally immature. They don't know how to process their emotions. Therefore, it's just best to not think about it. Maybe they go to sleep when they when they start thinking about you or they try to do something. They try to separate themselves for those from those thoughts. It's like they know that you're their soulmate, that with you it was better or it was best. Yeah, King of Pentacles. This is somebody who's like, they're gonna try to take the logical and the rational approach. Like, if I just give it time, it'll go away. Yeah. If I give it time, it'll go away with the seven of cups here. It's all just an illusion. It's just wishful thinking. Um, you Aquarius could have turned your back, the uh, queen of swords to this. You're done with it. You're over it. 
and maybe you're looking towards to you're getting a lot of downloads spiritual downloads and you're releasing this because it's like you know that maybe there's something else on the other side of this relationship yes it was it is or it was a strong connection here but at the same time it's like i can't be stuck here so you also are be, being called to maybe forgive this person it doesn't mean get back with them but forgive absolve them of all the wrongdoing the hurt the pain and do it quick so that the universe can take you to the world to the end of this tough cycle yeah it's like maybe you're being called the star card to um release the baggage of you know of um hurtful hurtful relationships also doing some chakra healing some of you are understanding why you're here you're here to heal the you know humanity all together you're here for a larger and a greater purpose you're keeping your distance from this person because this this energy only delays your ascension process Sometimes you think about fighting for it and going back to it, or this is that person. They think about fighting for the relationship and maybe reaching out, but they don't. They feel like, again, this is just one of our times that we do. We take time apart, we separate, and then we come back together. But something could really be over this time. And I think they know that, or they're getting some indications in their mind that you guys might not be getting back together. Whatever this is, you staying away from them, Aquarius, is making you extremely irresistible, the high priestess. And you're getting downloads about how they feel and what they want and who they really are and what they have to offer. You wanted to come out of a chaotic place with this person. Five of Swords in reverse is like... You you kept getting a, drawn a short end and they kept winning upright. You, what they thought was winning. They kept manipulating. They were out for self-interest. They kept thinking, they kept you thinking that maybe this person is in it to win it with me. But they really weren't. And it's just like you want to come out of that and you have, for some of you have come out of uh, that five of swords and reverse energy you're moving forward in in a new direction and you're you're taking stock of your emotions and um your actions like you're not reactive you might be looking at your your birth chart looking at what placements where it's just like this is prime opportunity for Aquarius to focus on Aquarius and move forward. This is the only way that you're going to have success for you in you, in your business, in your life, in your everything that you're trying to accomplish. Because you have given so much to this here, there was nothing left to give to yourself. So the universe is saying take a selfish or self-directed, self-focused approach to you, to your life block this out for now if there will be reconciliation it's not going to be now and you don't need to be worried about it this card literally says uh, you know put in a decision to the back burner and then coming back to it later you don't make a decision now you know that one needs to be made you know that something needs to be cut off or cut out especially with the high priestess and the two of swords coming out and maybe this person is hurting over you or they have to think about all of the shit that they've done or they said or they didn't do. It just kind of attacks them. Maybe at night, this could be a night shift work or you could be, there could be something where your sleep pattern is kind of disrupted somehow, but it also could have something to do with spirituality and downloads. You going into like a trance state. Downloads have been kind of continuous for you. It's like, yes, you are ascending. You're going to the next level. And it's happening fast for some of you. Again, downloads here. Something is concluding. It is over. It is. This is the conclusion. Let's see who you're dealing with here with the Kipper deck. It's like you're ascending. This person is staying stuck. 
so what are you gonna do Aquarius you can try to go back and get them if they don't want to go they want to go and they don't want to be better they don't want to be better let it go you know yeah courthouse so some of you are dealing with paperwork and back and forth you know little pesky things that you need to get done maybe in terms of your own personal life your, the business of you um a wealthy man this could be you as a masculine energy um this also reads sometimes that somebody is immature they're petty and they're pesky um, they're in your energy here they want to resurface here for whatever reason yeah maybe they want to come to you journey to you this person could be astral projection pro projecting to you so now we have a pair the wealthy man and the privileged lady these two are married in this deck or in a relationship um something you could it's like this person wants you back they definitely want you back you could be getting a message out of nowhere that does uh, you know bring concern to the relationship or to the dynamic or it stirs you it's like this person just wants to stir you mess you up courtship maybe that they want you back they want to manipulate here it kind of reads as manipulation they see with you there is great fortune and they're expecting or you have been expecting that maybe this person be more committed, more devoted. You're not sure if you will ever get that with them. And then with you, they see that they can have fortune. But I knew it was coming out. But they're stealing. They're a thief. They're a thief of time, essence, good nature. They're, you're a thief when you are taken and not given back. And then you, when you, when you do it sneakingly, like you know. So it's just like this is somebody lying about their position or what they want with you it's like they see that you're fortunate they're going to see that very soon and then they're going to come back and sneak in like a thief and just say and do whatever try to court you date you because they know that you're expecting maybe even a large sum of money or you're expecting to be married be in a commitment yeah this person is not to be trusted is just when I heard not to be trusted uh let's see what, what else is going on here okay that's it this person is fighting the likeness or the, the you know they're fighting how much they like you they're holding back because to them this is getting you in submission or always having the upper hand if I can wait her out or if I can wait him out, right, then I have the upper hand. I didn't reach out first. They reached out. This person comes from a lot of, they make a lot of decisions out of fear, the fear of losing the upper hand. They don't have control. They don't have real power in their own lives. So they have to have this pseudo power, this manipulated power over people. But if anybody wants to do any one thing at any given time, they can change their mind just as quickly as, um, you know, as they did that thing. If I decide, okay, yeah, I'll reach out to whomever. As soon as I reach out, I don't get what I want or I, you know, this person says something I don't like, I can just cut it off. So who has the real power? Maybe the person with the emotional maturity has the real power the person who understands emotional maturity and understands um action and reaction and this person doesn't and they have no control so it's like they have to have all of these different garters on themselves on their on their emotions so that they don't fall too deep because they don't know how to say when they don't know how to walk away because it, it's all a game to them and they lack emotional maturity. So I don't know, this is, this is a wreck of a person here. Yeah, this person knows that they're a wreck because they're saying you should probably run away from me. Like they know and, and they're stalking your social media and they want you to know I lie all the time, especially to women. Um, this is just somebody who it's all a big fat game like you know from them saying that they love you to them saying that they want to be with you to the romantic nights or maybe them even buying you something and it's all a part of the game for them 
So the universe wants you to release your negative thoughts, Aquarius, you know, your crown chakra, release negative thoughts because you're in a real high frequency of manifestation. So you can manifest that stuff, right? I can't make it up. I'm the devil's spawn. Yeah, this person is just not good. And sex magic is what I perform on you and maybe even other people. And they're so emotionally immature. They're not taking responsibility for you being hurt. And they're obsessive, compulsive, and they're saying, I will never let you go. Or this is what you're saying, Aquarius. I don't know. But they're also, once again, that, that pseudo control. I'll get back to you when I can, okay? But I, yesterday you just told me you loved me. What, what is, what's happening here? This is crazy. And, and they blame you for the toxic energy. They say the toxic part is you keep letting me back in. And they hate you and they love you for this one reason. You and your love disrupted their loveless life. They were okay walking around, not feeling anything for anybody. And then you came in and they did have some real feelings for you. But they're so broken and so emotionally immature. And they lack so much um, power uh, in their life that they have to play the game with you. Aquarius, I don't know if this is going to be your person in this lifetime or the next I don't know if they're going to get it together. You know, um, it just seems like you're trying to evolve and move forward. And they're not. So what do you do? I knew it. I knew it was coming out. Didn't we talk about this? I fight the feelings I have for you. I will not let love in. This person is fucking crazy. I dream of a life with you. You see how back and forth they go? Didn't I just give that that um that little scenario like you tell me you love me and then you tell me you'll get back to me when you can it's like i'm not gonna let fillers in for you but i dream of a life with you this is the most toxic and crazy shit ever loving you is like an addiction this could feel you could feel that way about them they could feel that way about you um yeah i had an emotional void but you filled it with your love again aquarius you show this person true love you show them companionship you show them a friendship you know they were so used to getting one-sided love or devotion or feelings or people just weren't able to reach them like you reach them down to the core of them but they're fighting it because they're scared again their garter is up it's like no I can't let it in I, I know I don't have respect for women maybe your person is in a profession or they've just gone through life not having respect for women cannot make this shit up having no boundaries is not the answer they need to do some solar plexus healing they have no boundaries and this is why they have to create these pseudo garters and boundaries because it's when they go in when they when they do something they go all the way in so it's like i can't let myself love the aquarius because i would love them completely and fully this is the most craziest stuff um ever and you could be saying or they could be saying if you love me show it um you could have been dealing with somebody who financially supported you so they felt like they were going to do anything anything that they wanted to do and you had no say so um some of you could have walked away from that yeah so this person said i know you're a good catch but do you know how many times i've messed up a good thing so th they've done this before somebody's saying you have too many kids for me sorry they don't like going home because in that silence, you know, it speaks volumes to them about themselves. Someone is saying, look, we both are cheaters. Why not get back together? Um, and yeah, this is a part of that emotional confusion. I purposely keep you confused. And this person is, or you are, full of drama and fear. And we had fear come out for this person, root chakra. So they need to do some, some chakra healing. They're full of drama and fear. So if they can keep life like this, you know, just everything just all over the place and drama and keep people in a place of fear. They're comfortable there. Keep in mind, we have six positive signs and we have six negative signs. It doesn't mean that the negative signs are negative people, but they can thrive. They can exist in the most drama, most negative uh, environments. OK, and maybe even sometimes they create those environments for themselves and the positive signs, of course. Um, they thrive in positivity and when either one is in the other's energy too long they'll kind of create 
you know, what sustains them. So if the negative sign is in something that's way too positive, oh, they'll create some drama. And when the positive sign is in the, the drama and the negativity, they're going to be nothing but what they are. They're going to be positive. You know, they're going to be good. They're, you know, their light is going to shine there, you know. Um, and they can't stay in negative situations for too long because they, they will literally just kind of like, like wilter, like a flower, just kind of like die. So, um, I don't know, Aquarius, I don't know, get a, get a, get a personal reading. Yeah. Somebody's got zero discipline in every aspect of their, of their life. And that could be you, it could be the other person. Discipline speaks volumes of a person's character. If you're disciplined enough to get up on time, go to work, do this, do that, take the kids, go to the gym, do this, eat right, push yourself away from the table, from the bottle, from the whatever that speaks volumes of you as a person. And you go to show up that way in every aspect of your life. But when you don't have any discipline in any aspect of your life, then that's how you're going to show up. It is what it is. You know, if you overeat, if you overspend, then that means you're going to overdo it in a relationship. You're going to be over the top. There are no boundaries. There is no garter. So somebody here, you know, needs to kind of fix their heart. You know, out, out of the heart is a man's desires, right? So somebody needs to fix their heart and somebody has zero discipline. Um, that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope it resonates. Um, if it does, go over to the website, book your own reading there to see how your person feels about you or you them or where you are or will you ever get back together? Um, and then also you can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday night. 9 30 p.m eastern standard time come learn the tarot with me uh classes are linked below i actually have a class today um it's gonna be fun um and uh what else do we have going on i think that's pretty much it and if you want to donate if you took something from the reading you can always make this an exchange you could give back the link is below it says buy l a coffee you could buy me a coffee thank you guys many blessings to you take care